Hi guys and welcome back to the kitchen. It is recipe Friday and I'm so excited for this recipe. Um, I kind of know what I'm doing. It's that vibe, we're doing that again. I kind of know what I'm doing. I kind of don't know what I'm doing. If you guys missed last week's recipe, I will put it up here somewhere. Um, I made muffins, I made banana muffins and apple pie muffins, they're delicious. A huge hit throughout the house. I see one left. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited about today's recipe. We're making apple cider. It's that time of the year. Um, and so here we go. So you guys saw me already um, putting the apples in to the sink and I'll just wash them off over there. So what I'm gonna do now is cut them all up and then I'm gonna pay, place them in a huge pot on the stove. There was a couple different ways um, that I saw to do this, either on the stove or like a slow cooker. Um, yeah, if I have to overnight and then I'll finish the video in the morning, but I really don't wanna do that because I wanna make sure it's up and ready for you guys. So yeah, let's get going. It's like four. I had a rough morning, but we're doing okay now. Um, so yeah, let's go. So this recipe, um, a lot of them said use 12 apples. I have, I believe I have Fiji apples. I have Fiji apples, I have green apples, and then one more. Of course, I threw away the bag. This, of course, is the last bag. Paula Red, Paula Red, Fiji, and Granny Smith. So. Here they are, I'm gonna use all of those and I still have so many left over here. Ding. So, I'm gonna cut all these up and I also have some little tangerines, tangerines? Clementines? <laughs> right here, I'm probably gonna put two in there and I've got um, my light brown sugar here and then some cinnamon sticks. So I'm just gonna cut up all these apples and place them in this huge pot. And then we're just gonna let everything simmer for a while. Okay, so the recipe called for like approximately 12 apples. I have 17 here. These are all mini apples except for this one. And this one is a Honeycrisp. And it was just like an older one that I had sitting in the bowl. Um, so I'm gonna use that as well. I just wanna let you guys know how many apples I'm using. So let's get to cutting these up. I'm wearing a gym fit right now because I need to work out for the day. I haven't eaten anything also, so I need to do that as well. But here we are. It's such a beautiful day outside. I wish you guys could see. Let me see. So I need to go outside and work out. Like not a cloud in the sky. It's beautiful. So let's get to cutting up these apples. I'm gonna watch a video over here and we're gonna make some apple cider. Loving how you wind up for me. Tonight is all on me. My shop, the place for me. Yeah, yeah. She just want a high life. Ooh, we, the body talk to me. I need a taste, baby. Taste, baby. Loving the way, yeah. loving the way you move around me. No more delay. No, you can't wait to shut it down. Want you show me how you work it? I can't find no flaws, you perfect. Cause every time that you come around my way, I keep falling, falling, digging. I spilled, I spilled water all over the place and my little sidekick is here to help me clean it up right then there we go hi okay so the next thing i'm going to add is these cinnamon sticks guys these were kind of expensive just fyi i don't know if there's like another place to get them i got them at the grocery store and they were like almost nine dollars for this whole canister but i used filtered water from the fridge and I'm gonna use 
like maybe a cup of brown sugar. I need to read like when you're supposed to add each item. Place everything, cook, mash the fruit. It says place everything in the slow cooker and add the water. So let's just add it. I don't know how many sticks we should add. Because some recipes you look at and they have like one um, measurement and then you look at a different one and it's completely different. Like some of them have cinnamon sticks and some of them don't. Like four cinnamon sticks. And then I put the two oranges in there. I just peeled the skin off. I'll show you guys what everything looks like. Let's do four. And then I'm going to do like a cup of brown sugar. This is what they look like. I got them a little bit wet. Um, stick those in there. And then... Here's my light brown sugar. So we're just gonna add probably a cup because someone said they used half a cup and it wasn't that sweet. What's the purpose if it's not sweet, right? It's supposed to be sweet. So I have it on high right now. I'm gonna check and see if I'm supposed to have it on high. Obviously, you can use any kind of sugar that you want. I have raw sugar too, and I have the um, my monk fruit sugar. You can add whatever you want. That looks very satisfying to watch it go down. Hopefully, I can show you guys quickly. So I'm gonna give this a stir. Let's see. I wonder if I put too much water. It's making all that noise because I got some water on the actual stove top. But yeah, okay, so I'm gonna let this sit and I'll come back with an update. Hi guys, this sunlight though, like, it's been, maybe, okay, so it's been about an hour um, you can hear it bubbling over here and I tasted it. I cheated and it tastes amazing already. It's been an hour probably and I'll, I'll, I think I'm gonna do like another couple hours and like maybe let it simmer. I don't know. Because it says like do it until the apples are like nice and mushy. I'm gonna show you guys what the apples look like because um, I think they're nice and mushy already. Um, but I'm still gonna wait and let all the flavors marinate. I almost want to put it on low now and like put the lid on it. Um, but I boiled it, I wanna tell you guys this, I boiled it until like it was like almost coming up <laughs> out of the pot and then I turned it on low and now it's on medium right now. I'm thinking I'm gonna take it back down to low and put the lid on it. Once again, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, it tastes good already. Like I said, I always taste things as I'm going so I can adjust the flavor profile um, as I'm going instead of like trying to make up for it after the fact. Um, so I tasted it like a couple of times already and it's so good. So it's only gonna get better from here. I'm very excited. I washed out, I don't know if you guys saw that vlog of me getting this like huge container, like my water jug thing where you like push a little tap down and water comes out. I usually keep it right over here with my fruit. Um, I just washed that out today. So once everything is nice and cooled off, I'm gonna put it in there. So I'll have a nice tap of apple cider. Hopefully I'll be able to fit it in like one of these refrigerators down here. <laughs> um, it's probably not gonna fit in the main one right here because of all the stuff I have, but yeah. And then I can heat this up and have it warm. I'm so excited.
I almost forgot, I said I was gonna show you guys. Okay guys, I started at like 4.30 or like four. It's like, it's almost six now. Everything is so mushy. So I'm just gonna mash everything together and then leave it for like another hour or so. This is just what I use to um, do my mashed potatoes. Yeah, everything is so soft. This is like effortless. through a video with you guys without putting this robe on. It's so cold down here. But anyway, it's almost seven, so I'm gonna take this off the heat. I taste it again. It still tastes really good. I'm gonna turn this heat off and then move it over to this cool eye over here and let it completely cool before I drain it. So I'm gonna take this lid off and everything. This might take a while to let it cool off, um, but I'm going to put it in a cheesecloth next and then it should be ready. Okay, hi guys, it's like 9.45ish. Yes, 9.41. And so I've got my glass, I don't know, measuring bowl and I put a cheesecloth over top of it. I'm going to try to gently I don't know if I should ladle it or pour it in there. I feel like it's too heavy for me to pour it in there. So I'm probably just gonna use the ladle. It's still warm. Um, it's not completely cooled off yet, um, but it should be all right. take some pictures and we'll try it okay so here she is my hair looks insane I just got out of the shower okay so this is what she looks like it's still a little bit warm too so let's taste it it's very good it's very fall it's very good you guys, this tastes like the stuff that you get at the store, like the good stuff you get at the store. I'm gonna mix this with my coffee in the morning and make like an apple cider latte of some sort. This is so good. Okay, that's the end of today's video. Let me know if you guys make your own apple cider. I'm gonna go share this with my family. Hi guys, I'm back. So I wanted to quickly tell you what I did with the remainder of the apples and stuff. So the first batch I put into the blender with some oat milk and then I mixed it up with some oats in this bowl and I'm making some granola. I added in there 
um, a little bit of raisins. I'll probably add some more on top and some cinnamon. So that's in the oven right now. And if you guys haven't seen that video, I don't even know what video that was where I made my own granola. Um, but I love having that on hand. I could just eat that with um, oat milk. It's so good for breakfast. So that's in the oven right now. And then the rest of it, I just made some applesauce really quickly. So I just put it, the rest of it in the blender. There's quite a bit left, as you can see. And put some almond milk just to, I mean, it probably didn't need it or I probably could have added water. Um, but yeah, now I've got some applesauce. Let's give her a taste. It's really good. And it's already seasoned. There is sugar added. So it's very sweet. It's cinnamony. And I'm very happy that I didn't throw anything away. So that's that. Now I have homemade applesauce here. And I didn't waste anything. I, the only thing I threw away were the cinnamon sticks. And if you guys know anything, If you guys know anything I can do with cinnamon sticks, please let me know. So, I'm gonna clean up this huge mess I just made and um, make sure you guys comment and rate the video and subscribe. I'm gonna clean this up and eat something and I'll let you guys know what the Granova looks like on my Instagram. I'll probably have it on there tomorrow at some point. Um, and that's it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.